In lesson 9, we're going to look at inHibernate and data grid views in C Sharp. We're going to reuse from lesson 3 and the prerequisites. We're going to install and configure the inHibernate binaries. We're going to create a company class and the inHibernate XML file. And we're going to configure, execute inHibernate, and bind it to a data grid view. In part 1, we're going to install and configure the inHibernate binaries. You need to download the inHibernate version 2.1.2 which is the version we're going to use for this example. We're going to copy the contents to a, to a directory on my computer. It doesn't matter which directory you, you put it into, just remember where you put it. We're going to add references to the inhibernate.dll and the inhibernate.bytecode.castle.dll from within our, our lesson 9. After you download the inhibernate version 2.1.2, you'll have a, a zip file like this. If you double click it, it, it will re reveal the contents, select it all, copy it, and I created a directory on my C program files in Hibernate and pasted it there. Next we want to navigate to where we saved our lesson 3. Right click, copy, and I'm going to put it into my my documents Visual Studio 2008 projects directory. So let's go open Visual Studio and our project. File, open, project. Let's navigate to Documents, 2008, Projects, Lesson 3. I modified the look and feel of the form just to make it look a little bit better. Let's run it and make sure it still works. And it does. So let's go add our in Hibernate references. Right click, add reference, browse, and let's go to where we put our in Hibernate binaries inside the required bins and in Hibernate as well right click again add reference let's go up one and required for lazy loading castle and then in hibernate bytecode castle.dll in part two we're going to create a company class and the in hibernate xml file we're going to add a new class the company.cs and we're going to add the new xml it's important that you set this xml file to to run as embedded resource. If you recall from lesson three, we actually used a disconnected data set to populate the grid view. And now the purpose of this example is to use the inHibernate uh, libraries to access the company table and populate the grid view. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add a new class we're going to call it company. Let's change our namespace to be lesson 9. Let's add a constructor. And let's add these attribute uh, properties. Public, virtual is very important string company ID get set and let's copy that's going to be the same for all of them so let's go public company name get set Company email, get set, then company size, get set. Next, let's, let's add our XML file. 
Let's go right click, add new. Scroll down to XML file. And we're going to call it company.hbm.xml. Let's right click on the file, properties, and build action equals embedded resource. That's very important. Now let's add the following to the XML file. Hibernate dash mapping XML NS equals U R N N I B E R N hibernate dash mapping dash two dot two assembly equals lesson three very important here class name equal lesson nine dot company comma the assembly name again is lesson three because we never changed it. Table equals company. ID name equals company ID. Put type equals string. generator class equals identity after the ID tags let's go property name equals company name let's put type equals string property name equals company email let's put type equals string and property name equals company size I'll put type equal string <coughs> 